Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. I thought that I would sit here today and do part two of my uh, assumptions about professional organizers video. You guys have been asking for this in the comments of the previous video, so I thought I would gather up the rest of the comments from the community tab uh, post that I posted about, like, I must have been a month ago or something, and I will uh, read those off to you and see if they're true or if they're not true. Again, uh, disclaimer, this is about uh, me as a professional organizer and what I know about my colleagues, so I can't speak for all of us, but I can speak for me and some of us. Clover's in that chair back there. You can't see him, but I'll, I'll shoot some b-roll of him there. It's really cute. Now I figured I would kill two birds with one stone here by uh, repotting some plants that needed to be repotted and doing the assumptions at the same time so you guys can like sort of repot with me and we'll uh, do the assumptions tag. So I've got five plants to repot today because they were looking like they were busting out. So the first plant is this Calithia ornata. Wow, look how one-sided she is. <laughs> She's like purple on one side and then bam! Um, this is a really cute plant. It's been really good for me, but uh, she's busting out quite a little bit. She's at the, she's got some roots coming through, if you can see, if it will focus. But yeah, she's got some roots popping through. And um, this is a tiny little four inch pot anyway. So I'm, I'm thinking she can go to a six inch pot and not be upset about it. So I, I bought like a little a ugly plastic pot and I could put her in. Um, maybe it's a little big, but I don't know. I think she'll be okay. I think she'll be happier. It's it's either now or wait till spring. So I think, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that good? I feel like that's good. I feel like um, they, I'm a little worried. These guys have sort of a sensitive root system. So I hope it's going to be okay. But um, yeah, so that's one. And then next is my uh, Scandepsis pictus. I think the last time I showed you this, it was much smaller and now it's like going crazy. And I, it's in such a small little pot that I can't keep it watered enough. I'm like, watering and it's like look it's like leaves are curling already I just watered this a couple days ago so um, it's growing like a weed it's getting all these beautiful vines on it so I'm gonna just repot it into I'm gonna just bump it up into a five inch pot so I think that'll be that'll make it a little happier I'm also gonna repot this uh, micans this philodendron micans this is a cool plant but I don't think that uh, I, don't, I don't I think she's outgrown her little nursery pot Look at, look at that nonsense. Roots, roots galore. This is a cute little plant. It's like a velvet leaf philodendron. It's got soft leaves on it. I love this plant so much. I was looking for it forever and I finally found, I was on a wait list for it <laughs> at a plant store and finally they emailed me. They're like, we have them. So I went in and bought them. So I'm gonna repot that one. Um, I'm again gonna use this little blue pot. I think it will appreciate it. I'm just gonna bump it up a little bit. And lastly, I'm gonna do these two pothos. Um, this one appears to be suffering a little bit more than this one. This is Marble Queen. She's like, she's doing great, but I'm gonna repot her anyway. Uh, this this guy, this pothos, um, seems to be suffering a little bit from the root boundness. Yeah, I can see a bunch of roots at the bottom. Actually, let's let's see how bad it really is. We could stand to repot. So the first assumption uh, in part two is they can't function with clutter in their own houses, although we all tend to make a mess at times, and they secretly enjoy spending other people's money to create organization masterpieces. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say that that is mostly true. I do, I can't stand it if there's like disorder in my own house that is a real stressor for me and I do enjoy spending other people's money <laughs> to make make their house look organized. It's really, really fun. Um, it's like it's like you get that gratification without having to like whip out your credit card. You whip out somebody else's credit card and then they look at their space and they're like, wow, and it's the most gratifying feeling. So uh, I think that assumption is most certainly true. Okay, I got a terracotta pot for my pothos here. How often do you guys repot your plants? I'm always scared of doing it because it just, it stresses the plant out and stresses me out a little bit too, but um, sometimes they just need it, you know? Okay, so she's in her new pot. Looks really good. Um, yeah, I like, I like terracotta. You guys like terracotta. I think it looks really cute. Um, and I don't have a, I just have these little plastic things. They didn't have the terracotta uh, saucers at Lowe's when I was there yesterday. There, now, yay, look at that. I love this plant by the way <laughs> um it's like if you're in like beginner um grab one of these guys they're so easy to take care of this is golden pothos uh it just grows for you it's got these pretty vining parts and it's just a pretty plant next assumption they are constantly figuring out how to better organize wherever they go to the grocery store a coffee shop their family members homes etc ah uh, i mean maybe but not true for me specifically when i go to other spaces unless it's really bad unless i feel 
really stressed out being there, uh, that that mode is totally turned off. Uh, when, it, especially if I'm at friends' houses and stuff, I'm usually there to just enjoy their company and not to like mess around with their stuff. Unless they hired me to mess around with their stuff, then I'll definitely think of another way to do it. But um, typically, when I'm out or like visiting friends, it's just it's just turned off. Um, I do, however, straighten things like displays in stores. I, that's like a total thing to me, and I think it's both from being a professional organizer and also from working years in retail, especially at the container store. Uh, at the container store, it is a big thing to front and straighten uh, the products. So they look nice and organized. So uh, years and years of doing that. I worked there for seven years. I worked a lot in visual sales and that is like how your, the products appear. So it's now second nature to me to put, to grab a mug, anything with a handle and put it on the shelf with the handle facing to the right. Every handle has to face to the right. It's it's a thing. All right, Miss Missy, you don't really, you're happy, but I'm gonna repot you anyway. This Marble Queen has been so, 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 so good. One of my favorites, just a superstar. There's still a landline here. <laughs> And every now and again it rings and I'm like, ah! All right, so here is the Marble Queen Pothos repotted in her beautiful terracotta pot. I will um, water it when they're all done, but um, I'm gonna wait till I'm done. Next one, I assume the good ones are visual, are super visual in determining how a space should look. I do think most of us are pretty good at that. I think that we're good at um, determining what will fit and how much will fit. I think that's really the main thing that we're good at is how much will fit and how much will look good. I do find that sometimes it doesn't translate in terms of interior decorating. I find that I'm not as, as good at decorating as I am at organizing. So I'm flexing my skills. I'm learning, I'm learning to be a better decorator, um, but uh, organizing skills Yes, good at spatial things. I can I can usually determine like the dimensions of things while looking at them um, or spaces. Uh, but as far as like decorating, and making it look good, um, I can make it look neat and beautiful. <laughs> but interior decorating, a totally different skill, which I'm discovering, um, but I'm working on it. All right, who's next? Uh, Philodendron Mikens, let's do you. I assume that organizers rather not work with hoarders. It is hard enough to get people to let go of clutter. <laughs> you know, I have to say that um, I personally don't work with hoarders at this time only because I don't have the experience. I know that certain colleagues of mine do work with hoarders on a regular basis um, because they love it and they have experience doing it, but I know that most of my colleagues don't. I do believe that is a specialty because I, th I do think you have to get a psychotherapist involved and perhaps a professional cleanup company because there can be some hazardous materials that you want to deal with. I mean, you're going to need like in some cases, gloves, hazmat suits, masks, those kinds of things, because it just, it gets, it gets kind of intense. So um, I personally don't work with people with hoard, like level four, five hoarding. Even level three, I, I can get a little bit uncomfortable. There are different levels of hoarding. Um, I'll put a link down below so you can see what the actual levels are. I have worked with hoarding clients in the past, but they weren't at they weren't at a four or five level that can that's a, a very very different scenario um uh but level like light hoarding like level one two and three i have worked with and have been pretty successful but um getting into the higher levels uh not my specialty yet professional organizers must organize all paperwork i'm gonna be completely honest with you and say that paperwork jobs are one of my most time consuming jobs because you can't just toss everything in a can and say it's got to go because uh, frankly because I, I don't believe that paper is one of the more necessary things to keep especially in 2019 but if your business requires that you keep them or if they're just piling up and you haven't gone through them then you have to go through and look at each individual sheet of paper and see if it has any personal identifying information on it like your address credit card number phone number email address those kinds of things and they have to go to the shredder so it's it's a very time-consuming task and it's one of my um most 
it's one of the least rewarding things that I work on. Not to say that it's not rewarding, but it's one of the least rewarding jobs that I that I get. Um, but people do feel better after I've been there and they've like shredded 80,000 sheets of paper, but it does, it's very time consuming. The people will be with me for hours and they feel like they've just dented their job. It's because it takes time. You can't just carte blanche, throw everything in a trash can and be done with it. You just, you have to go through and find things. I find money every time. I find gift cards every time. And I find like, I've even found things like death certificates and uh, birth certificates I've found. Uh, I found some really cute things too, but like I found like some intense stuff. So, but I always find money, always. <laughs> Is this not the cutest little pot you've ever seen? The glazed blue pot? I think it's really cute. It does, it does not want to come out. You guys like roots? Here's some roots. <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute in this little like five inch pot. I think this is cute. All right, that's gonna do it. I think they have really shallow root systems, so I don't think, I think the pot is a little deep for it, but um, I, I don't care. <laughs> they have all their parts of their life organized. Uh, I'd like to think this is true, but it's actually not, it's not. There's actually some stuff in my life that is rather disorganized. I don't wanna like, you know, expose, I'm gonna expose myself right now. <laughs> Uh, I'm not on a car maintenance schedule. I just kind of forget and like, I mean, I'm pretty good. Like I'll take it when it needs an oil change and stuff like that and maintenance. But like, I, I don't have like a, that's not scheduled. I just take it when I'm like, when I think about it. I mean, I don't wait too long, um, but you know, and sometimes I forget things like to um, <clears throat> renew registrations and things like that. I'm a little bit behind like, uh, so not all of it's organized. The stuff that like the like household, uh, systems functions are pretty organized. I'm much better at uh, managing my time. I have in the past been not so fabulous managing my time. I've been a little bit like lax. However, um, with time blocking, with calendar blocking, it works really well for me, especially when it's like just menial little tasks. Like yesterday, I just blocked out all of my time that I was going to spend at like Home Goods and Lowe's and Whole Foods and uh, target or whatever and I blocked out all the time or the, even getting gas I blocked it out and then I remembered I, I kept myself on task and that's how I organized unless my phone tells me to do it I'm not probably not gonna do it. uh don't suffer from clinical depression wow this one's really deep I I can say for myself that I don't I don't suffer from clinical depression I have been depressed in the past um it's been like a situational depression uh, which, which means that like I was depressed because of a situation and not because, um, I had any, uh, imbalance. I mean, I can only speak for myself for the most part. Uh, a lot of organizers that I've talked to, uh, have not had clinical depression. However, that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Um, because a lot of people are very high functioning with depression and it can manifest in ways that are not typical. I mean, I can say for myself that I have not had depression for the past 20 years, uh, but I have been anxious my whole life and that, that's something that I, I suffer from. So maybe maybe a lot of us are anxious people. <laughs> maybe that's why we're so organized. But um, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say to that one. I, I don't. I mean, I don't think so, but I, I can't speak for everybody. All right, who's next? Oh, Skindapsis. Skindapsis, you next. This. <sighs> She's one of my favorites. How, I mean, it's so gorgeous. Look at it, look at it, oh, yes. Yes, she's so pretty with these like silvery. I mean, you can't really tell from, look how she, she needs water, she's really thirsty. The leaves are very silvery, this little silvery white stuff, um, super pretty. And the leaves are really thick too. So I love this plant so, 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 so much. This, the hole in this is so big and the soil is poking through every time. I try to put soil in here. So I'm gonna put that in there for now and I'll take it out when I um, finish. Those roots though, I don't know if you can see, I'll like, maybe I'll zoom in because I'm not moving this close to the camera because it's, it's kind of, a, well, maybe I will. Holy, holy. How dare my camera stop recording in the middle of this. Um, okay, she's in, she looks less like amazing because she's in a, a larger container, but it's still a really beautiful plant. So, yay. Oh, she looks really, it looks, look, I, I left the part of the label on there too. So I, I guess I'll have to fix that. But anyway, she's done. Yay. Uh, here's another one. Professional organizers are really good with complicated math. I don't know where you got that from, but that's not true for me. So real talk, I was not good at math in school. 
Uh, and I'm still not. My husband's actually pretty good at math. This is a really small, it's so, it's silver on the inside too, or gold. <laughs> colors. Uh, but I, I am not good at math and never have been. I, the only math I was good at was trigonometry for some reason. Uh, other than that, like physics and, uh, well, physics is not a math, but it's a lot of maths. And, uh, calculus, I struggled. Struggle bus, uh, was strong there. And, uh, I also struggled in, like, college algebra. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, at least that's not true for me. Maybe some other people, but for me, no. Not good at the maths. Yeah. I assume all professional organizers must have difficulty finding the best way to market their business, get the word out, build clientele, etc. Maybe that's not true for everybody, but maybe it's true for some people. Having your own business is tricky in any way, um, and I found the best marketing has been uh, YouTube. You know it's been an all-day filmathon when your Nikon runs out of bat- Nikon? No, it's a Canon runs out of batteries. Those Canon batteries actually last a pretty long time. I can film for a few hours and have it last, but it uh, it pooped out. So uh, last plant is the Calathea Ornata. Um, I don't think it's gonna stay, I, I gotta get a cash pill for it because how ugly is this? Um, but I don't have a cash pill available right now. And if you don't know what I mean by cash pill, it's like a little, an outer, an outer pot. Like this Hoya is still in its nursery pot. It's ugly nursery pot, but um, I have it inside this cash po, which doesn't have any drain hole, and it looks slightly better. Um, I when I repot it, I'll get it into like a better looking pot. But for now, uh, she's in a cash po. I actually love this plant, by the way. Look at her. Look at her. Uh, next assumption: they light up at the newest organization system they find. <laughs> uh, of course, that's true. Of course, I am so excited if I find something new, and I'm like, oh my gosh. This product is amazing, and sometimes I just I just talk about it with you guys because it's like I'm very excited, and I know you guys will be excited because like I can't just call my friend up and be like, oh my gosh, this shelving I found is amazing because they don't care, I, but you guys care, so I tell you guys everything is super clean all the time. A lot of things are clean all the time, but not everything because I I can't get to everything, <laughs> like I can't get to like behind the fridge or. Um, under the bed all the time, but most things are clean all the time. By, for example, when we moved in out of our apartment, it, there was not a lot of cleaning that needed to be done, and that was the greatest. I assume when a professional organizer goes to other people's homes, the brain always looks for a better. Oh, I think, I think, I think we talked about this. Oh, it says they would love to. Yeah, I mean, when I'm at my friend's house, or you know, if I'm visiting other people's houses, again, unless it's like in, up into like hoarding levels, I, I don't, I don't care, and I don't really think about it. Um, because I'm there to enjoy their company and I, I don't live there. I, I guess I'm able to like put a boundary between like whether I live in the space and have to function here or whether I'm there to like see, hang out and play board games or whatever. So, um, I guess it's turned off when I go to other people's houses. All right. This, how is this going to come out? Oh, it's going to come pop right out. Okay. The, the root system doesn't look too bad actually. Um, but I mean, it's okay. See, it's not, it's not bad at all. Like, it probably could have waited till spring, but whatever. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good, actually. Wow. I, you, you're saved. You're, you're saved. All right, last one. I assume that an organizer does not supply items to organize with. After a consultation, a list of items is given to the customer to purchase so that the organizer can organize the space. Uh, yes, yes and no. So, what usually happens is we will declutter the space first and then we'll deal with purchases if purchases need to happen. Um, and whether or not I take care of the purchases for the client or purchase them on their behalf with their payment information is up to how expensive the item is. I'm not gonna take on like a, an alpha closet for the client and then have them reimburse me. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, but if it's like a couple of bins, I'll usually just go buy it and then have them reimburse me when payment happens. It also depends on how well I know the client. If it's a brand new client, I tend to not do that. Um, but if it's somebody I've been seeing for years, then I, I know they're good for it when I <laughs> ask for the money back. So um, I'll just add it to the final bill at the end of the session and they can pay for it when I charge them. And usually they, I, I can give them some sort of deal on it as well. So um, if you've been working with me for a while um, and you want like a couple of bins, I can probably hook you up. <laughs> Otherwise, um, they're gonna pay for the items themselves or if they have a discount they wanna use, that's up to them as well. Mm -hmm.
So I have uh, gone through all of the rest of the ones in my community tab feed. So if you guys have any more and you want another video, probably in another couple of months, because I don't want to put these out too much, leave them down in the, in the comments below. Um, and I've repotted uh, five of my plants here, so I feel like not a bad plant mom, and I gotta clean this all up. But I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope you guys are having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next one. It's time, time for lunch. <laughs> Bye.